welcome to Intentional Health. So it's that time of year, everyone is getting sick constantly. So what can we do about it? So we're all doctors, we get sick all the time, we have little kids. So one of the things that I love to do is eat seasonally. I know it's not like a common concept, so let me explain what I mean. So foods that are in season, so especially in the winter, you have your butter squash, your beets, your root vegetables, and greens like collard greens or kale. So when you eat seasonal foods, they actually contain way higher amounts of antioxidants. And we know antioxidants are very important for your immune system. So eating seasonally can make sure you can make sure you're getting a healthy dose of them. The second thing I do is I simplify my diet. One of my favorite things about winter is that it's soup season. I love soups. So I really gravitate towards warm, soupy, stewy things. And I love making one pot meals where I'll put in some lentils, some vegetables, maybe some quinoa or rice. And it's just that warm, nourishing one pot meal that simplifies your diet, but also gives you that high amount of antioxidants we're all looking for. I love that. It's just such a cozy thing to have during the winter too. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what to do when you're actually sick. So there's a lot of the preventative and I think Zach's going to go into that, but mm -hmm. I, as soon as I get sick, my go-tos are elderberry syrup, zinc, and if I have some congestion, some eucalyptus steam. So elderberry syrup, you know, there was this, there are several studies that show that it can help reduce the, the length of the time that you're feeling sick. Um, the important thing is that you have to take it within the first 24 hours. So as soon as you're starting to feel kind of under the weather, you've been around some kids or people that have been sick, just start taking it. In terms of how long to take it, it sort of varies, but it could be anywhere from a few days to the whole week that you're sick or the duration of the symptoms. Um, same thing with zinc. There was a, a, a large review with several randomized control studies that show that there is benefit to taking it as soon as you get sick. So the benefit really diminishes after the first 24 hours, definitely after the first 48 hours. So same thing, you feel a little bit ill, start taking it. I wouldn't take more than 40 milligrams. Once you start taking more than 40 milligrams, you can start to deplete your copper level. So you don't want to create another problem. So really, you know, there are different um, ways of taking it. There's pill form, there's lozenges, the side effects are pretty minimal, but with lozenges, you can get this metallic taste. And if you take it on an empty stomach, if you take zinc on an empty stomach, you can get a little bit nauseous. So just be careful with that. Make sure you have like a little something in your stomach. But if you're taking it for a short period of time, their side effects are pretty minimal, both for the elderberry and zinc. I don't recommend taking it as a preventative. Uh, there aren't studies that are super strong to show that it can be a preventative by taking it before getting sick. Um, and plus, the longer you take things, especially supplements, and you know, the, the higher the chance of having side effects, and we don't know what those long term effects are. So short durations, when you first start getting sick, anywhere from three to seven days, that's my go to, it seems to help the studies, um, there are several studies that show that it can help. And then when the congestion comes on, love the eucalyptus steam. Eucalyptus um, has been shown to be able to uh, help as a decongestant and open up those airways. So those are my three things. Um, Zach, you go and tell us what tell us what you do. Yeah, great. So I totally agree. I think the most important point here is that there's not one perfect cocktail. Like there's only these supplements that work. There's lots of different herbs that work, lots of different practices that work but they're not gonna work if you don't do them and you gotta do them early, okay? If you do it right when you have the first signs that you're getting sick, which for a lot, for me, a scratchiness in the throat, a little vague, like I don't have a fever, but I'm starting to get a headache, I'm starting to run hot. As soon as you get that intuition that you're getting sick, cancel your plans, rest, and start taking all these supplements right away because you actually have a window of opportunity and if you miss that, the boat is sailed and you're gonna be sick for a few days. Okay. So what do I like to do? I uh, totally agree with Juvie. Like my number one's probably elderberry syrup. I love anything that's a syrup. I love to go to the health food store and look at all the supplements and syrups and things like that. Cause it actually coats your throat. Okay. Elderberry really does work. Uh, they call it the flu fighter. Um, it just tastes really good. So I have to be careful not to take too much of it. Cause actually it's really delicious. Okay. The other one in terms is uh, my favorite is ginger. Okay. Ginger is a medicinal food. It's a universal medicine. There's almost no one that doesn't benefit from a little bit of ginger here and there, but you can actually use it on a daily basis. So 
things that I would actually call like preventatives is kind of like vitamin D and ginger, I would say, in that they're really safe. You can overdo it, especially with vitamin D, but it's pretty hard to do. It takes a long time to do that. So definitely taking it in the winter months because at this latitude in New York, we do not get any vitamin D from the sun. And that's actually our main source of vitamin D is actually from our skin. Okay. From the sunlight. Okay. So we need to take vitamin D and I actually will increase the dose when I'm sick. Okay. But you can't, you can't overdo with vitamin D. So do talk to your, your health professional about that. Okay. Um, bring it back to ginger, pick a form that you like and just use a lot of it. Okay. If you like to cook, just cook with it. If you have a juicer and you like to juice, just juice it. Okay. If you're lazy like me, but you like juices, just buy ginger juice and just keep taking shots of it all day long. Or if you make something like a chicken bone broth, okay, which is really, really, really good for your immune system and a lot of other health benefits, you can just pour ginger juice into that or actually, you know, cut up ginger, throw it in there. Okay. So there's plenty of other herbs. If you go to the health food section and look at anything that's immune boosting, anything like a yogi tea or traditional medicinals that says like throat coat or immune zoom, teas, hot tea, or you can just chop up ginger and boil in water, add honey, hot ginger tea. Thank you so much. So I hope everyone stays warm and cozy and away from all the flus and colds that are going around. Stay healthy and be well. 